Anterior and posterior subtalar arthroscopy through the dorsolateral and anterolateral portals. Anterior subtalar arthroscopy is performed with the anterolateral portals as the viewing portal and the dorsolateral portal as the working portal. The lateral capsule of the anterior subtalar joint is reset to expose the articular cartilage. The cartilage of the lateral part of the tailor head and also the middle and anterior calcaneal facets are examined for any lesions. Moreover, any inflamed silovium can also be reset through these portals. After completion of the debitment, the arthroscope is then gently retrieved until the sinus tarsi and the posterior subtalar joints can be seen. The posterior subtalar joint is then exposed and then can be examined for any chondral lesion. Moreover, the interosseous ligament can also be examined. Any tear or fibrosis can be debrided. Finally, the arthroscope can be switched to the dorsal lateral portal. This can provide a wider view of the lateral side of the sinus tarsi, and the sinus tarsi can be deprived of any inflamed tissue, scar tissue, or torn ligament. It is important to examine the other source of lateral heel pain. For example, the lateral calcaneal wall and the lateral subtalar recess. Deployment is indicated if any infantile silophium is present.